Introducing the John Bunn Vacutec 800 EV2 Aspirator. Today we're going to show you how to set up the aspirator for tracheal and oral suction. With each John Bunn aspirator, you will have the suction machine, collection bottle with top, patient suction tubing, unit tubing, and HEPA filter. The 800cc collection bottle is what holds all the secretions. The bottle lid, which has a float shutoff to help prevent backflow into the unit when the bottle reaches 800cc, should be tightly secured. Make sure nothing gets tucked underneath the lid. The float is a safety mechanism for the aspirator because should you accidentally let your bottle get too full, it will stop the unit from being able to suction. Make sure to close the hole at the top with the lid top provided. The collection bottle will fit in the bottle holder attached to the aspirator. The opening or connector at the top is going to connect to the unit tubing that holds the HEPA filter, which is allowing the unit to suction and prevent particles from backflowing into the compressor. One end of the tubing will connect to the top of the canister and the other will connect to the suction machine. Coming off the front of the collection bottle lid is the connector to attach the patient suction tubing. The patient tubing is the same on both ends, so it does not matter which end attaches to the connector. It is important that you make sure to not switch up the tubing connections, meaning do not attach the patient suction tubing to the connector for the unit tubing. This will cause damage to the unit. After connecting the tubing, your John Bunn aspirator is ready to use. The gauge on the unit will allow you to see the amount of suction pressure. The suction or vacuum adjustment knob can help you properly set the suction pressure based on the recommendations by your healthcare provider. Make sure to properly empty the collection bottle by removing the entire lid and not pouring secretions out of the hole at the top. Wash the bottle with mild soap and water. Your patient suction tubing can also be washed with mild soap and water. The unit tubing with HEPA filter should not be washed. Always follow the guidelines and instructions provided by your healthcare professional.